This video kept ending up being so long. <gasps> okay, in five minutes, Cal Poly Pomona student hacks. Let's go. Number one is to do the four year pledge. No, 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 no. I don't wanna hear your excuses. Oh, I missed the deadline. I don't know how to do, no, you go, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry guys, it's just so worth it. Cause you get priority registration and all you have to do is plan ahead for your classes by a little bit, like a few weeks into your current semester, you're just gonna have to plan ahead and think about your next semester and what's the harm in thinking ahead. So do that. The application for the four-year pledge is due early September, so keep that in mind and do that as soon as you possibly can. Guys, regular registration is so stressful. I don't even know the stress firsthand because I've always had priority, but as I've seen, it's so stressful because you are you can literally choose whatever time you want for your classes pretty much when you have priority when you don't have priority you're going to be competing with other people for a 1 p.m class rather than a 7 a.m class you know so it's but it's the difference between you waking up early and being mad and you waking up at a still good time because you're healthy and being happy at your classes at 1 p.m that's the difference okay number two email your advising center before you actually try to go there they have really weird hours and if you already know someone who you work well with you're gonna learn who that is um just email them directly they'll have your direct answers and you know they're accurate so just just listen to them and email slash call but really just email and do that for pretty much any department you want to try to reach if this is financial aid housing whatever honestly for any department try to call or email <laughs> this is call this is email instead of trying to walk in they probably got weird hours or maybe they're busy and it's just not a good time for you to go so keep that in mind number three use schedule builder when you are enrolling in classes schedule builder literally builds a bunch of different schedules that could possibly be your own and all you have to do is pre-select your classes which you would have done if you uh created your my planner which by the way can be sent in through email you don't have to walk in and go and fill out your for your pledge thing in person so use schedule builder because you don't want to try to search for your individual classes that you want and try to see if those classes are going to conflict or not that's what i did my first quarter you don't make that same mistake that's a total waste of time number four look into ige this is interdisciplinary general education my favorite especially if you are in the honors college you will know everyone in the class so it's super fun basically no test no final exam it's all discussion based but you do write personal reflection essays throughout the week it's personal reflection guys it's not like a format essay like really and it counts for a lot of your ge's and all you have to do is talk about pieces of writing in class and it's a beautiful thing. Again, the reason why I want I want this for you if you're in the Honors College is because you're gonna know everyone and discussions are so much better when you know everyone. I'm talking so fast. Number five, if you need to ask a question in class, ask the question in class. Ask those questions, don't be afraid. Your professors want you to ask questions. And if you're too afraid, if you're still at that point, start with emailing them, but really try to ask them in class. It's way better to like look dumb and ask a question than to walk away even more confused than you were when you were in the class and therefore stay dumb. Don't stay dumb. Not a good thing. Okay, number six. Don't go to the brick at night because it's crusty. It smells bad and in the morning, if you go between 7.30 and 9 a.m., you can totally have the whole gym to yourself. It's beautiful. I love it. You'll catch me there. Number seven. Los Olivos, your dining commons has late nights. And this means you can go to LO late at night. This is Sunday through Wednesday. Um, if you have a late class or something, emergency food, Ellie's got you. Oh, I have no more time! Number eight, you can always count on Panda Express or the Jamba Juice at the Brick. Jamba Juice at the Brick uh, has got a lot more variety um, for their menu items compared to the one at the marketplace that is in the quad. So go for that one like right after your workout. See, you catch him. Yeah, right after you work out, you will get yourself a beautiful peanut butter mood. Mm. Yes. All right, you guys. Also, for LA late nights, they sometimes have really good wings. So go there if your friends like, hey, like, they're having wings at LA tonight, and be like, okay, I'm down. All right, number nine. Don't try to eat on campus during U hour. Don't be trying to line up at the BSC or Hibachi San Kidogo or subway when it's you hour that's tuesday thursday noon to 1 p.m that's when the club meetings are that's when nobody has class so don't be trying to go eat at those times the lines are insane 
Um, however, hibachi san is still good, and I like hibachi san. I don't know why the lines aren't always long. Maybe because I don't really eat the raw fish. <laughs> Number 10, when you go cash out, cashing out means at the Vista or at Pony, when you trade a meal swipe for $6.50 for you to use. By the way, at Vista, if you ever need like, you know, disinfecting wipes or a razor or whatever, like kind of random bathroom stuff or hygiene, whatever, you could try to go get stuff there. It's super overpriced, so try to go make a target run with a friend or something. But if you really, really need it and you're in a bind, go to Vista for that. Anyway, so when you trade a meal swipe for 650, you can pay for that kind of stuff. But otherwise, if you're actually going for food, try to find the um, this thing that they sell from the farm store on campus. Yes, go to the farm store, it's so good. It's the pretzels covered in peanut butter and chocolate. You guys sensing a trend? I like peanut butter and chocolate. Anyway, so go ahead and go there and buy peanut butter and chocolate pretzels. You'll thank me later. Okay. Also at LL, drink the chocolate milk. It's always fabulous. Um, also, if you guys want to make your own waffle at LL, put some chocolate chips in there. <laughs> and also, if you are cashing out at LL for dessert, try to grab the chocolate chip cookies. Now, don't listen to my advice all in one day. You know, spread this out. Like, don't don't do that. Don't do it yourself. So, like, I did that every day. I did. Don't do that every day, guys. Really, avoid chocolate. Be healthy. <laughs> Duh. All right, you guys, those were my top 10 student life hacks for Cal Poly Pomona. I know I went over five minutes, but I'm not going to go over 10 minutes because that's too much of your time. You need to be signing up for the four-year pledge, and you need to be looking into IGE. Thank you for sticking it out this far, if you did. And I'm sorry, I can't say stay cool with my sunglasses. I sat on them while I fell asleep in the car, so I'm sorry. <laughs> See you guys. Ellu's got you.